to in Malaysia. Sorry, I still sound really, really bad. It's like this in the morning. I will progressively sound better, I hope. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go meet Rick. He's here to pick me up. And I think we're going to Chinatown today among other food stops. So let's see what he has in store. Good morning. morning. Hey, Rick, so where are we going today? Chinatown. Sushan Jie. We call it Nazi Chong Gai, Cantonese. All right, sounds good. Chinese food in Malaysia. A lot of things are closed today because this is a, a big holiday, religious holiday here in Malaysia. It definitely has a, a more sense of history than, uh, than the New York Chinatowns. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. We should try this one. Yeah, it's like a, is it pandan? Pandan. Oh, it's very stretchy. Looks like uh, coconut, maybe some palm sugar. It's very coconutty. Yeah. The outside is more salty. We got like a salty, sweet, savory, sweet thing going on. I think if you drizzle some coconut milk on top of it, it might make it better. <laughs> because it's got a look nice, spongy outside exterior. I feel like it's just aching to soak some sort of liquid up. So with that, I, I, it is good. I think coconut milk a little bit, oh, I'll make it excellent. So, the Darling Streets, Si San Jie. This is uh, It says specially made salty duck. Correct. Yeah, it's cold, right? Yeah. But Normally, it still tastes good. But this one, they it's sell it cold? cold. They sell it cold. Yeah. They're supposed to eat it cold. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let me see. Wait, this is duck leg? It is duck leg, but liver. Yeah, liver, right? Mm -hmm. This is liver. It's wrapped in duck skin. Yeah, I was kind of confused because I, I, I took a bite. And I was like, wow, this doesn't taste like some sort of organ. Oh, and I think this part, what is this, the duck feet? Yeah, the duck feet. So this, what, this is like a, like a all-encompassing, mm -hmm. like, bite. We got some organs, some, some feet. Levo. Yeah, well, this is, this is interesting. She, she basically put a bunch of the organ, the feet, wrapped in her stomach, which is actually really crunchy and nice. I love the organ taste of the liver. The sauce is good, nice and sweet. This is good duck. Can we buy, like, a leg? Or like a wing or something? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, that it looks good. Give me a half duck, please. Give me a half duck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's making this sell. Like I got travel all the way to Malaysia. I gotta eat half a duck, which to me makes perfect sense. Cause I'm looking at that wing and, and the uh, and that leg. That looks like it's it's roasted nice. Oh, thank you. Just, uh, just hold like this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Take this one. Okay. Yeah, the whole piece. This looks like a good piece. Man, look at it. Look at all the fat dripping out of this duck. Oh, look at it. It's glistening. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, it is such a juicy, greasy bite. That flavor is insane. Oh, every single bite. Look at this. You guys see that? You see all that grease? Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. I love this skin. It's toasty. It's just full of flavor right here. Oh man. Look at that juice. Oh, I think this and the one I had in Vietnam, probably the best roast ducks I've had. And don't get it confused with Peking duck. That's a whole different story. That's a whole different animal. Well, it's the same animal, but it's a completely different cooking method. But this roast duck, just talking about roast duck, it's one of the best I ever had. These old ladies who I've been selling here, decades, you know? So this is Mochi, and look at, she's featured in a lot of uh, news articles. Mm -hmm. 
She's been selling this for a long time. I mean, the pictures of her are changing throughout these news articles here. So she's making everything from scratch. Oh my goodness. And there's different flavors, original, lychee, rabana, mango, pandan. Oh, I gotta try some of this. Look at that fresh mochi. All right, cheers, my friend. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Very good. It's like an insult to you. This is extremely good. Oh man. This is like, it is ridiculously, ridiculously this is like chewy. Flavor. Yeah. Like cheese flavor. Oh. This is subtle lychee flavor. Sesame on the outside, no peanuts, I think. I can't even stop eating this. This I feel like, again, with some ice cream. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. You guys want some? No, oh, come on. You guys ever had mochi before? Yeah. It's a mochi. It's like a gelatinous uh, rice dessert. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Peanuts, huh? You had it before? Uh -huh. No. This is a very popular Asian uh, Asian food item. Mm -hmm. Here, you want, would you like another one? One for the road. Yeah. One for the road. Yeah. Yes. Today, yes. Oh, take, two yes. Look at that. No. Yes. All right. Good, good luck nice with your trip. You, nice to meet you. you no problem. Have fun in New Zealand. I'm just curious. Down to you. How many years? You've been making only five years? Oh, I've been here for 50 years. 50. She gave me this and I had the audacity, I feel so ashamed, to think she meant five. Like the paper of that news article is like a decade old. So 50 years selling mochi here? Like you need to come and try this. And right right across the street from the matcha stall, there's a, yeah, there's a chem soya bean. And you're saying they're always packed for soy milk and then uh, tofu, uh, tofu hua, which is like tofu pudding. Big ice cubes in the soy milk vat. Super chilled soy milk. How many years have you been selling? 70 years. 70? 70 years. You 40. And your father 30. So 70. Is your son taking over? Yeah? Three generation. This Chinatown, this is incredible. All right, so this is the grass jelly with soy milk. And you got the regular soy milk. Cheers. Oh, it's hot. Can't wait to try this. Mm. That is ridiculously fresh. It is so crisp. Very nice. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm drinking healthiness right now. One problem I had with soy milk, and this is just my own personal preference, is that I don't like soy milk that's a little too thick. Mm -hmm. I don't like the little pieces of beans on the bottom. I want my soy milk to be crisp and refreshing, which this is absolutely okay. the case here. Heck yeah to this soy milk. I mean, oh, I can't wait to try this. This is the soy milk pudding in Chinese we call dohua. I don't even want to cut into it because look how beautiful it is. It's kind of just like, want to bounce on it a little bit with your spoon. This thing looks like you can bounce a quarter off it. You don't need a spoon. You don't. I. You could. You could drink this with a straw. You could. What I said was, you could drink this with a straw. Like you could. You don't need. A, this is so. Watch this. You see how ridiculously tender and gentle this is? Oh my God. Today is like a day of fests. I mean, some of the best roast dog. Definitely the best mochi. And if you like. The little tofu, tofu hua, little tofu pudding. The, if you like soy milk, you're not beating this guy. You are not beating this guy. A little ginger here as well. Oh my God. Hey, this is awesome. This is really, you guys, can you teach me? <laughs> yeah? No, he's like, <laughs> bow down to the king of smooth people. So we're at this we're at this uh, little stall called called Shang Shang Yi Qi. Yi Qi, right? Yeah. And this is the uh, most popular item here: rice noodles, and it's covered in fermented bean paste. Oh, it smells very peanutty. Mm -mm. But we got some kanji with uh, it looks like fried pork innards. Yeah. And some chicken. All right. So do we dip this in there? Yeah. So the yolk all goes in, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, let's say you want to add some. Oh yeah, white pepper. Also. White pepper for sure. Hey. Century old eggs in here? Mm -hmm. And the and salted eggs? It is got a bao, ba ba so. Ba ba, eight treasures. Which means like, you know, eight treasures. Yeah. They're putting everything inside. Wow. Yeah. So I'm getting a, a spoonful with this, uh, the thousand year old eggs. 
and the yotel and the crispy uh, pork innards. This is an all encompassing bite. Oh, in one side. Oh, that's good. Very nice, right? That's very nice. I love the, uh, the crispy element because I just came from the Philippines and crispy pork is like a mainstay over there. And I was having a lot of porky innards. You know, and I told you guys I love porky innards. And man, that makes this kanji beautiful. I love the thousand year old eggs here. A lot of people, this might be a little funky for you, but I love it. Mm. That's nice. You got to try this one. Mm -hmm. I saw a bunch of people eating this when we were walking up. Oh, the salty egg in here just hit me. <laughs> yeah. Because I just, I just discovered a new treasure. It's like treasure hunting with this kanji. Looking at it, and people are eating this. This is the reddish noodle I've ever seen in my life. You know, I, I usually make my noodles really red with hot oil, but this is not hot oil. This borderline looks like liangqi, like the uh, cold wheat noodles from Xi'an. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. You know, woo. I love it when a dish is multi-layered, you know? Like when you take a bite, it's not over, you know? As you're chewing, more flavor hits you. That's exactly what this thing does. First of all, the noodles are some of the most tender, like so tender, beautiful sesame. Yeah. I love the fact that you use sesame sauce and roasted sesame because you get that nice crunch from the toasted sesame as yeah, well. Yeah. A little sweet from the from the, from the the paste. Mm -hmm. Great sesame flavor, mm -hmm. crunch of the sesame seeds, and then finally, the spice gets you. Yeah. This is like a great movie, you know what I mean? Great beginning, fantastic finale. Oh, he's brought us some extra crispy. So, 70 years. 70 years. Yeah, your your father? Uh, no, actually, I'm son-in-law. Your so son-in-law. I'm son-in-law, so he's from uh, Brenda. Oh, grandpa of his wife. I love that fact that people are keeping the family business going. Yeah. I love that. Here, give us some, oh man, it's so awesome. Make sure fried pork enters. Oh. Very crunchy, right? These are the fattiest, nicest uh, <laughs> crackers you'll ever have. I'm gonna put this in here. Yeah, just put it. Mm. Oh yeah. Everything here is awesome. This is like not what I expected mm -hmm. coming to Chinatown. Okay. Because there's Chinese food, right? Mm -hmm. But it's also like fusion quite many things inside. It's influenced different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love it when there's something I'm familiar with, but for some reason for the last, you know, decades or hundreds of years, it, it's changed a little bit mm -hmm. because of the different culture it's interacting with. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, apparently this place uh, does zhongzi really well. Zhongzi is a very traditional Chinese food item. In the north, we typically eat it with uh, sweet dates and honey and sugar. In the south, they typically eat it as savory with meats inside. Uh, wait, 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 what's the menu, Shimo? Tender? Yes. No, we'll be honest, I want sweet zhongzi. I have not had sweet zhongzi in like forever. Yeah, sweet zhongzi would be great. So this is all wrapped in a banana leaf. It's tightly wrapped and it's sticky rice, very compact. Mm, wow, this one has a uh, red bean paste on the inside. This zhongzi is kind of different than what I had before. They said they put some special sauce that kind of made it yellow. The zhongzi is very sticky. It's actually almost mochi-esque. This is really, really interesting. I never had a zhongzi that almost tastes like a mochi before. It's definitely the bounciest zhongzi I've ever had. Just wandering around here in uh, the Chinatown Kuala Lumpur, probably the most awesome Chinatown I've ever been to. Just so much good stuff to eat. So if you're around, if you see some guy just devouring everything, that's me, come say hi. One thing you gotta get in Malaysia is jerky. Uh, probably one of the best jerky I had in New York was from a Malaysia shop, but now I'm in Malaysia, so let's get some Malaysian jerky. And they're cooking it right out front of the store. This jerky has almond pieces in it. I'm gonna get some of that later, but a lot of varieties in here. God, I didn't know there's this many varieties. That's bacon. Literally like a mountain of bacon right here. Oh, Dongboro. Dongboro is like a really famous Northeastern dish. Oh, and fish jerky, wow. What's the best jerky I should try? So don't pour it off. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Look at that. This is crazy. I've never seen like short bacon jerky before. Oh, bro. Wow. That tastes like a tomboro. You don't know what tomboro is. It's a really fatty piece of pork and a little sweet. That tastes exactly like a tomboro, except for it's obviously smokier and jerkier. And by jerky, I don't mean it's, you know, meaner. It's just 
more like a jerky. Do you have anything that's spicy? Yeah, this one? Oh, thank you. Again, piece of bacon. Oh, I like that. It does taste like it has some uh, Korean chilies on there. A little sweet, it's just as smoky. Well, that's awesome. Can, can I buy a piece that just, he's just grilled? Yeah, can I do that? Like, I wanna buy a piece, like I just want like the fresh off the grill piece of jerky. Oh, so six, so about, so about a buck fifty for a nice piece of jerky. Um, this, this, the Malaysian jerky from the place I, I was getting it from Chinatown, uh, that cost around, I think, thank you. Oh, it's awesome, thank you. For like a quarter of a pound, I think it was like uh, six, seven dollars. So this is a great deal, obviously. Check it out, freshly cooked piece of jerky with the almonds in it. Oh, it's burning hot. Whew. I'm just gonna take a bite. There's no way I can kind of tear a piece off. Oh, ridiculous. Oh, if you never had Malaysian jerky before, you are 100% missing out. Completely different than any of the jerkies you might find in the US. First of all, the jerkies here, they're so much more tender. You know, they're not like, they're not hard to chew at all. So much more smoky. And this thing with the almond, that's a stroke of genius. Wow, this is good. This piece, like, if you guys come here, I recommend getting a piece right off the grill. They're like borderline making me emotional right now. So this Chinatown, since we've been here at nine o'clock in the morning, it's, it's so vibrant right now. This is the noodles? Yeah, it is. So this is what's called a wonton noodle here in Malaysia. In Hong Kong, obviously, if you guys saw my wonton noodle video, it's actually wonton noodle soup. Malaysia, it's dry. It's dry you noodles. You can have the soup one as well. I love dry noodles. Okay. I love dry noodles. This is just so adorable. You know what I mean? This is not even a soup bowl. This is like literally a, a, a like drinking cup. Yeah. I like this is one slurp. Uh -huh. It's over. <laughs> Look at these noodles here. This just looks so appetizing. Look at all the soy sauce and whatever else is, is, is hanging on these noodles. There we go. <laughs> I think I was gonna have to slurp it. Like, there's no really no other way to do this. Are you ready? Yeah. Mmm. Ah. Love this. The sauce, I feel like it's just a simple um, soy sauce, maybe a little oyster sauce. The noodles are fried so well. Like, a little al dente, nice and chewy. I think I like this better than the uh, wonton noodle soup, basil soup. Here, let's split this thing. We should get a wonton. I mean, this is just the tiniest, cutest little wonton. I've ever seen. That's actually a pretty ridiculous wonton. The meat is very nice, right? The meat is that it's big, proportionally very big. The outside skin is very, uh, very thin. Yeah. That's actually a ridiculous wonton. I thought I mean, oh, baby, wonton, what's it gonna do? That thing packs a great flavor. I love this noodle. That is fantastic. Try to get it with the chicken. Chickens. Oh, yeah, I tried a piece with the chicken and guideline. The noodles itself with the little veggies in, in, the, in the soup. This is like, I would eat this every single day if I lived around here, I would. <laughs> Look at that. Little jalapeno, little little vinegar mixed into these with these noodles. Very nice, right? Nice, very nice. Man, that's the balance I was looking for. Because this is, the noodles are salty, a little oily. One of the best things we have today. That's great. Now we're going to some, uh, I think this is like some herbal tea shop. Looks interesting. So this is a Chinese herbal tea shop and the, the <laughs> it's brewed in here. Look at this. This is the most glorious culture I've ever seen. And she said I could just lift this up. It's hot. Oh, look at this. All the tea is here. This place is Gong He Tang. Um, I didn't know what this place was coming in, so it sells a lot of herbal, herbal stuff in, in the shape of jelly and soups. This is what it's known for here, right? Yeah. This is called the Yao Zhi Gui Lin Gao. Literal translation is like uh, Chinese um, medicine created turtle paste. It's not. Turtle but there's no turtle in here. It's not okay, inside. that's good. <laughs> I would have a little problem with that. Um, it's basically just um, like herbal jelly. Yep. Uh, I'm cutting into the jelly. And by the way, it's made in this cream. Oh, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Like I'm not penetrating. Is this some first? Oh. Beetles, right? Oh, it's just like Chinese medicine. <laughs> okay, so this is the jelly itself. Mm -hmm. 
this must be so good for you. Yeah. Because it tastes so what? Like Chinese medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it tastes bad because it doesn't. It just tastes like Chinese medicine, which is bitter. Mm -hmm. So you gotta pour honey into it. Yeah. Right? You know what Mary Poppins says? A teaspoon of sugar makes the medicine. Well, in this case, a teaspoon of honey makes the herbal jelly go down. The herbal jelly go down. All right, let's try it now. I'm being very liberal with this honey because the herbal jelly it needs to be last sweeter. Mm. Mm. Now it's good. Yeah, right. Wow. Mary Poppins, you are a genius. Very smooth, right? Oh, it's nice. Actually, enjoy this now without like all that bitterness trying to overwhelm you. Mm. Let me try this. This is the Wang Lao Ji. This is a very popular Chinese drink that I always get at oh, I'm eating hot pot. Um, but this is like the, whoa. There's like stuff on the bottom. I mean, it's yeah. not stuff, but it's like you can tell it's, they it, it's extra cloudy. They purple powder inside for you. Oh, wow. I'm sure it's gonna taste like it's really good for me. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. The drink it one with uh you know in once and then after that uh what? Just drink it together with this. Wait, wait, wait. We, you, you're saying drink all this and then chase in one it one shot and then chase it with this? Mm hmm Well, it was like a Malaysian like <laughs> test. When you no. come to Malaysia, you have to drink this, otherwise you're not considered no. part of the country. <laughs> no. I mean, this is this. Or did you? Did my mom tell you I problems taking Chinese medicine when I was six? And, and this is like, this is like making me relive my past. Like seriously, Chinese medicine taking? That's part of my childhood. That was not a good part of my childhood. Oh, that's bitter. How cool. And then this one. Oh my god. Who does that? Everybody? Everybody does here. Everybody? Why though? <laughs> Alright, I'm just teasing. I'm gonna drink this because this is like apparently the Mar the Malaysian way. Cheers. Oh my god. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's like a challenge right now. Oh, he's just drink the elf. Oh my god. <laughs> drink all together with the powder. Oh, holy cow. All right, I'm not gonna check it out on this. Mm. That was almost exactly like taking Chinese medicine when I was a kid. Almost exactly. <laughs> I, had, I had the same flashback. My mom was like, drink it, it's awesome for you. And the, the medicine was so, this is so bitter. The more you drink it, the more bitter it is. It is so bitter. Oh, I need some of this sweet honey thing. Mm, mm. Oh, thank you for saving my tongue. Look at this, it's, it's made of this massive chili pepper. People were lining up for like half an hour for this soup. Okra, fried wontons, fish balls. I think this is fried tofu or something. Fish tofu, 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 yeah. It's fried tofu. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm tasting like just a just Grandest combination of seafood and, and, and scallions. It tastes like if I boiled a seafood tank full of just just fish and crabs and, and shrimp, like all sorts of stuff in a good way. And then it turns into this. This is like a fish tofu with fuzu inside. The fuzu is like dry tofu that we eat a lot in a hot pot. Wow. Whoever invented this needs an award. Wow. Yep. The food is so fresh. The fuchu right? they deep fry it until it's just, crispy. Yeah. You can still taste some of that crisp, mm -hmm. uh, even though it's been soaking on the soup. I'm really curious about this, about what this is. It looks like a fried dumpling. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to crispy pop. I know. You take a bite, yeah. crispy part, then the nice fish tofu. Oh, yeah. the soup together. There we go. So matched, yeah. right? This is what they were frying yeah. over there when I was looking at the tofu. The tofu together with the uh, with the, the pork fish. was that yeah. fish. So the tofu is it looked like just regular tofu, and then they flash fry it and they stuff fish inside. That's good. The, the flavor is not as as nice as the other fried tofu stuff, but it's good. I mean, it's good. Little ooh, very bouncy, right? Look at this. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this right now? 
I just want to show you guys how, how ridiculously bouncy this is. Look at that. I'm like, I'm, I'm stabbing it sort of hard with my chopstick. It's not penetrating. Mm. Wow. That's the bounciest fish ball I think I ever had. Well, check this out. The okra is also stuffed with fish. This is a genius dish, by the way. I mean, there's so many elements going on. You got that crispy element, fried element. You got the fresh elements of the pepper and the okra. But then there's like hidden compartments in each thing in this bowl. Like literally, everything here is stuffed with something. That's the way life should be. You know, like surprises within surprises. What I'm really excited for is this chili. I think it's stuffed with something. I knew it. I knew it was just a simple chili. I knew it, look at this. It's again stuffed with fish cake. Oh yeah. Oh man, this thing is good. This is really a genius dish. You get the nice crisp factor, you get the nice fried factor. Everything has a secret compartment. This is like the, the ancient pyramid of food right here. Yeah. You guys gotta get this when you come here. That chili is uh, sweaty. I, I think that chili completely canceled out all that bitter tea I had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the last uh, savory items we're eating in Chinatown today, Xin Xiu Ru, Shen Qi Beef Noodle Specialists. So this, these guys, they make really good beef noodle soups. Yeah. I assume. Let's go see if that's true. This place is, is booming, and they brought these noodles out fast. It's like a combo. You, you kind of got to know what you want before you come here. So you can either get the noodles um, dried with uh, the meat sauce yeah. on top, yeah. and you can get that with the soup, and then you can get the soup version, which is everything uh, soaked in the broth. Are we supposed to mix this? Or are we supposed yeah, to do Yeah, mix it. All right. You guys see this? There's some broth on the bottom, so it's not just the sauce. Oh, man. Yeah, thank you. We got more noodles guys. One thing I love more than noodles is more noodles. That sauce really surprised me a lot. Really grounded down beef and it has this great smoky flavor to it. Mm. It's really good. Oh man, the aftertaste just, just kind of got me a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Is that what you do? You just dip the noodles yeah. in there? I was gonna say, you you do need some spice because it's salty, it's beefy, and just, just a little bit of spice is gonna highlight all those flavors even more. That was a lot of fun. So this is usually paired up with a soup. Yep. Really excited about the soup. Mm. So tender. Game over. That's awesome. Oh, that beef is supremely tender. And white pepper, heck yeah. I love this soup. There's all the beef fat goodies floating in there. Man, that's good. Check it out, guys. This is another bowl that we got. This is like a bowl with everything. It's a soup with thin rice vermicelli noodles, the ground beef sitting on top of the beef with the beef meatballs and beef tripe. This is like beef on beef on beef on beef. Sitting in a bowl of beef. So we're gonna mix this a little bit. I do love the fact that they have uh, different noodles here and they give you a lot of textures to choose from. I think if you guys do come here, don't just get the beef soup, get the mixed beef soup. Because then you got the beef balls, you got the pieces of beef, you got the tripe, you got the beef paste on top. I think that's an all-encompassing bowl of beef noodle soup. I really recommend that's what you get if you come here. Wow. You know what? For the soup, I love the thin vermicelli noodles because when they absorb the broth, you can taste that all up in there. The biggest difference between this and like a pho is that pho soup is obviously more clear. And the biggest difference between this and like a beef noodle soup in Taiwan is that this really doesn't have like a huge soy sauce base. You can call this Malaysian beef noodle soup. Yeah. Because this is really different than anything else I've really had before. Yeah. Look, we, this is not over. Like we got like... We got a bowl of like beef balls sitting in the soup. We got, we got like another noodle and then, and then we got like another noodle. So. Yeah. There's gonna be some good eating going on here. Right, we'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Last thing we're eating in Chinatown, what are we getting? This I am Mata Kuching. Okay, so in the Chinese is Ding Chang Dong Gua, so winter melon, yeah. something with shaved ice. Yeah. Uh, it's like a drink, right? It's a drink. And I see a lot of fruits here. Loya, which is Logan, uh, Logan. which is kind of like lychee. All right, so this is really popular drink it's very here. very popular here. We, we missed the line before we came here. It was a huge line on the door, but let's go get a couple of these. So this is it. Mm, that is refreshing. Oh, the Logan's inside. Oh, so you, you can, can scoop it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they purposely made, made your straw kind of like a, like, like a little spoon. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it's a drink and a dessert. 
But this is a really good way to cap everything off. I gotta say, you don't believe me when I say this, this is the best challenge I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> stalls upon stalls of aunties and uncles. That's, their family's been there for 90, 100 years just cooking the same recipes. This is just insanity. Like all these awesome, ridiculously awesome places for food. So yes, you should come here. And yes, you should try all those places I went to today because most of them were extremely mind-blowingly awesome. Also, I want to say, um, I don't know if Malaysian people are usually like this, but most shop owners we ran into today were so accommodating. Like you try to talk to them, they, they smile and talk back. It's not like too busy, go away. Mm -hmm. I, I can't even tell you guys what I enjoyed the most. I can't even rank it for you because I, oh, there's so many things I love. Anyway, thank you so much for showing me around at this Chinatown. Yeah. Like this is literally the yeah. funnest Chinatown experience I've ever had. This guys, seriously, just, just come here and try it. I'll try to list all the places we went to in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again, buddy. Until we eat again. See you later.